Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Rockwin. So, we have plenty to do for this episode, that's for sure. Um, so first we have to go to Jackie to get a pickaxe, and then after that we can go... I already forgot where. Hopefully it'll remind us. Probably through the caves here that are blocked off. Can we get through this way? I can't remember, because the door is back there. You know what? It might be faster just to take the shortcut through, uh through the hospital, and I'll meet back up with you guys once we're through there. Here we go. I forgot Tony had a shortcut through his room, so I did that way, and that worked. So, welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? Pickaxe, please. I'm sorry, but you don't have the right materials to make this item. You can see the sign next to me if you'd like to know what materials are required to make something. Wow. So now you're just too good for us. You can't even talk to us and let us know what we need to get. Now you make us read a sign. <laughs> At least you're polite about it. You're not just like, eh, read the sign. Okay. So what do we need? Tool menu. For an axe, we need camphor sticks and nightstone. Or no, we need a pickaxe. So we need five camphor sticks, three lumen rocks, and three nightstone. Uh, post it notes. I have them. Please excuse me while I get them out, like a true professional. Okay, we're good. I got it written down now. So do we have any of those items already so I know what they look like? Uh, no. Oh, we have camphor sticks. We have two. Small branches from nearby trees. Okay. Um, well, it sounds like a fetch quest, so let me do the fetching of the quest, and I'll meet back up with you guys when we have everything. Oh, it's Tony! It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. I no longer want to live by myself on that island. I'm really enjoying spending time with my daughter and her grand cubs. Stop, he's a grandpappy. Oh, he'd be the perfect grandpappy. Thank you for giving me back something I thought I was, something I thought that was gone forever. <coughs> okay, sorry. I had something stuck in my throat. I like having a grandpa. And what about Speedy Gonzalez over here? <laughs> Just stops to look us dead in the eyes. Honey! Did you shrink the kids? Huck, huck, huck. 90s references. Anyways, my dad is so different now. Thank you so much for fixing something that was so important to both of us. You're welcome. Let me get out of Amber's way here. There we go. Okay, back to fetch questing. Okay, so the rest of the camphor sticks were up here. However, I have no idea where we're supposed to find the rocks. I haven't found any of those yet. You know you have like a woolly thing in your house, right? Is that normal? Sweet baby. Okay. <laughs> uh, Giants in my hut has news of my artistic creations actually spread beyond the greatest sea? Sure. Well, in that case, today I have some very special items for sale. A uh, corsial pillow, a fancy sky bud tea set. Thanks, but no thanks? Maybe later. I think we may need the tea set. Okay, wasn't like the Seigneur Bud or whatever, Monsieur Bud up here that we need to visit? Here we go. Okay, don't judge me too hard, but I had to look up exactly how you get to this place. Because I couldn't find the other beanstalks, and apparently the one in Sue's room is the one that connects to this place that has everything we need. So, do we have enough? Okay, I have to find two more nightstone and two more lumen rocks, so let me do that. <laughs> it kind of does. It kind of does make it look like there's a tree going out of your head. Trees going out of flowers. Oh my, the tables have turned. <laughs> I like you. You're my favorite. You're the best. That's my favorite bud right there. I mean, we'll see how Monsieur Bud is, but so far they're my favorite. They're goofy and weird, and I like goofy and weird. It's perfect. Okay. So, we still need one more nightstone? Where am I gonna find more nightstone? Hey, here we go. Get one more of those. Get one more of these. What's in here? 
You found a flower marble. I know who will want that. Okay. But now we have the items we need to make a pickaxe. So let's take care of that first. And we already have an axe, right? Out of curiosity. Yeah, we already have an axe. So the only other thing we can get is the pickaxe. I just want to make sure. Because, you know, might as well get all the materials we can now. And take care of both the axe and the pickaxe if we need one. You know, take care of it all in one go. But we can only get the pickaxe. So let's go do that. Oh, what kind of situation did we just walk into? I didn't really like explore when I first came up to the Skyland, so I kind of wanted to explore on the way back. Anyways, we have a pungent onion going, Ah, oh, Are you okay? My unholy dream moth just hit level 52. Wait, who are you and what are you doing in the sacred Ketelthalash catacombs of a dune? I think I said that right. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, I love that face. Best face, 2017. Uh, what? He's an outsider. Oh, that's a different person. He's an outsider! Eat his dreams! No, wait. Do you even know who he is? You're talking to a high-level warrior from the plains of Sendai. He has an enchanted blade that was given to him by the great dragon Lakathor. Lak Lakathor? I don't know. I'm, I'm with the boy, I'm just like, huh? <laughs> Show him some respect. Uh, oh wait, ah, apologies! Please forgive us. Mom? You want to explain what the heck just happened? Mom? Hi, Mom. You want to explain what just happened? Hello, dear. Why is there no option for what the heck just happened? Is she, like, secretly into this stuff? Anyways, we're just going to steal your stuff. We found 25 gold. Peace. <laughs> You, you can show your respect to me and, you know, how apologetic you are by letting me take this 25 gold. Anyways. Whoa, where did you come from? You're like giants. Uh, do you live alone up here? <laughs> forget what you- forget your question. Answer ours. Technically, yes. However, my friend is over so often that it feels like I have a roommate. That must be great. Well... He's an onion. So he doesn't like the sun. That's basically his excuse for everything. <laughs> I'm allergic to the sun. Anyways, I can't go look for a job because I'm an onion. I can't go out and get fresh air because I'm an onion. Don't onions need fresh air to like grow? I make your hut smell really bad because I'm an onion. <laughs> the only reason he smells so bad is because he hasn't showered in literally months. That's disgusting. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. I'm so sorry for the loss of- He basically took over your apartment. He basically took it for you- from you, so I'm sorry for the loss of your apartment. Anyways. Let's climb the beanstalk. Right, pickaxe. Let me- Why did you not climb? Did I say no accidentally? Anyways, let me go get the pickaxe, and then we'll get a move on. Oh, Jackie. We have a little project for you. Pickaxe, please. For reals this time. One moment, please. Also, I realize Jackie is the nurse that we saw that was standing next to Cora's paintings at the bottom of the hospital who has, like, the really cute bear pin in his hair. So adorable. Here is your new pickaxe. Sweet. Peace out, Boy Scout. Okay. So now I kind of want to go up here. Because, yeah, that treasure chest is blocked off. So we can try out the new pickaxe on this first. M maybe. Do I have to... Nope. Okay. I love how they, you know, allow this child to use all these sharp materials, such as, like, an axe and a pickaxe and stuff like that. Shows how responsible it he is. You found an onion air freshener. Aw, oh, dude, I know who could use that. I have, like, so much stuff where I'm like, I know who would want this. But then I never follow up, because I want to get, like, the main objective done first. 
Okay, so since we're shortcutting our way through the hospital, I figured we could stop and drop off the marble before I forget and see what Sue thinks of the new flower marble. I have a feeling it's probably gonna have something to do with like a flower planet, maybe. A garden Jupiter or something like that, I don't know. Can you, there we go. Maybe, there we go. Hi Sue, I have something for you. Uh, here. Give Sue the flower marble? Yes, I am all about here in this next world she has planned out for us. You give Sue the flower marble. Marble, I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, it's my flower marble. This marble is so special to me. The last time I was here, I found a floating island in the sky. It was covered with grass and flowers. The flowers were all different colors. Some were big and some were small. It smells so good there. Were there any blue ones? Yeah, lots. There's this one blue flower that looks like a really big dandelion puff. But each puff has lots of tiny blue flowers on it. There are blue roses, too. Let's go there together sometime. Yay! Baby's first play date. We can climb up to the top of the island and lay down in the flowers and watch the sky. The island moves with the wind, so an hour will go by and suddenly we'll be in a completely new place. Cool. For a second the music dropped out there and that kind of like surprised me. I was like, what's gonna happen? What's going on? So is she talking about the Skylands? The Skylands that we were just in? Where are we trying to go again? Kisaburo. So we actually need to go over this way. I get so, I don't know. I don't know why, but I get really turned around in this game. Very easily. But then again, I don't really have a sense of direction, so maybe it's not that surprising. You know what else I realized? I had completely forgotten Monster Bud was the one who was uh, up in the Skylands, so it probably would have been faster if we went and did that first and then came back here. But through the magic of jump cuts, it's all gonna take about the same time anyway, so. Hello, water dragon person. Stormy, that was your name. What brings you to my domain? Whoa. Yeah, I'm used to that. What are you staring at, child? Well, I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because we are not very common in these parts. You're so cool. At least he tell at least he says it like it is. He's saying what we're all thinking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> tell me, child, what is what is it that you need? Do you have dragon ash? Well, let's let's be polite and ask what they do here. You know, get to know them a bit better before we start asking stuff out of them. I'm a water dragon, so it is my job to regulate the waterways and clouds. I try to keep everything in balance and make sure the forest gets the water it needs. Do, do, do I have to... There we go. <laughs> I was like, okay, and this is the part where the prompt comes back up? No? Okay, let me, let me make that a thing. Do you have any dragon ash? I can make dragon ash if that's what you mean. I am a dragon after all. Huh. How do you make it? Is it hard to do? You're just full of questions, aren't you, child? Wait, you don't like questions? Is it too much for you? Sorry. It's quite all right. Dragon ash is a byproduct of dragon fire. Of course, we all have different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. Are there two other ones? One that's electric and one that's fire? Maybe. Or am I thinking of Pokemon? Probably. It's not difficult to do, however, creating fire requires a lot of concentration. And your natural element, mine being water of course, must be in balance. Oh, I see. He's just like, I have no idea what you're saying, but it sounds cool. You're a dragon. You're really cool. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, things around here have not been in balance lately. Besides, the increase of negative energy coming from the envoy, I can sense that something's blocking the flow of water. 
If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's terrible. I know. Hmm. Maybe we could clear away whatever's blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us some dragon ash? Huh. You really want the dragon ash, don't you? It's for our friend Kazuko. She said it would help her flower bloom. Oh, is that right? Kazuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to grow a Hikaribana, isn't she? Yes. How'd you know? Oh, a dragon knows many things. Hmm. Okay, then. If you clear the waterways, I'll make you some dragon ash f for Kazuko. Thank you! Take this. If there are boulders blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. You receive some scale flint. But be careful. Scare f ugh, scale flint is known to cause large reactions. To get to the water blockage, you might try going through the door up there. Good luck. Well, that's straightforward. Thanks for that. Okay. So, I think I remember seeing an area that was blocked off by boulders, and if this crosses back over into that area, that'd be super sweet. Yep, this is definitely the area, because this is the area next to Kazuko's. Um, because I, like, went up here, I was like, maybe this is a shortcut, and I saw the envoy, and I was like, nope. Never mind. Use the scale flint? Yes. Okay. Here goes nothing. I mean, shouldn't a parent do- uh, He's a strong independent boy. I don't know what I'm saying. Run! Maybe that'll scare away the envoy, too. Whew. That was a close one. Great job. You really just let him do his own thing, don't you? It's actually pretty neat. Okay, so that side is done. So I think we have to cross over to the other side of the bridge now and go over here to get the other rock. We did it, I guess. I thought I had to go back and clear the other boulder, but I guess since it was such a huge reaction, we don't have to clear the other boulder. It just got exploded too. My sources tell me that you got the job done. What sources? Do you have hitmen? Can dragons have hitmen? I don't know. It just sounds like something someone with hitmen would say. They'd be like, ah, oh, yes, my sources told me you got this done. Anyways. We did. There were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think I should uphold my end of the bargain. One moment, please. Do we get to see it? Whoa! Wait, sorry, I looked over at my dog. Do it again, I missed it. <laughs> well, here you go. You received dragon ash. See to it that Kazuko grows that flower to its fullest p potential. It means a lot to her, you know. Tell me, child. Do you know why Kazuko is growing the Hikaribana? I'm not sure. Maybe she just likes gardening. Here in the forest, Hikaribana is a symbol of great love. They say that it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond, to help find someone who has been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko is trying to remind her husband of their love, for she feels he has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. He mentions her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that. They have not spoken in ages. They haven't? Kisaburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented. He can't tell day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. That's why it is a noble thing you are doing. Helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck, and may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. That seems like, I don't know, that seems like a kid making up a pet name for someone who's majestic AF like that dragon. <laughs> She's just so majestic, you know? 
Um, anyways. Let's go ahead and give her the ash. And then the only thing left to do is go visit Monster Bud, I think. Thanks so much for your help. We got the dragon ash. Oh, you got the dragon ash. Yep, glad we glad we got some clarity on that one. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. I guess that's the end of that. Also, I talked to one of the villagers in the Skylands and they said this dog is waiting for something. I don't know what though, but I want to help Poochie. So cute. I don't know, maybe we can do all that after I figure out what exactly we're supposed to be. Come on, there you go. <laughs> Maybe once I figure out how we help uh, Kisaburo, we can go help Poochie afterwards. Okay, so I think this is Monster Bud's house up here. So I guess we just go up and ring the doorbell, maybe? Possibly. Or maybe Monster Bud is out here in disguise. Oh, they got the fancy music, too. Are you looking for Monster Bud's afternoon tea? Uh, yes. It's just up these stairs. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> There's a tiny bud. Sweet little baby bud. I didn't get you this job so you could just goof off all day. First the stink bomb, and now these pre preposterous drawings. Maxwell Howell II, you better stop this behavior at once. My name is Lil Buds. Lil Buds. What? Why in the. What? You're acting like a hooligan. Dad, you gotta chill. Where you chill at, though? You're going to be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But, Dad. I'm serious. If you mess up one more time, you're grounded. Now come with me and behave yourself. You have a job to do. Yes, Dad. That was an interesting interac interaction to just happen upon. It was interesting how we couldn't say interaction for a hot minute there. Okay. Go, maybe? Yes, thank you. Well, Mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This must be where Monsieur Bud lives. Little Buds? Sugar Baby. <laughs> wow, I haven't seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Are you gonna stay for the Monsieur's afternoon tea? Are you from LA? Oh my gosh, look at that wig. That beautiful, beautiful wig. Sugar Baby. Yes, Rupert? More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh no! What did they take this time? Only the monster's absolute favorite dish. Pecan pull apart syllabary crumble. Not the crumble. Yes, sugar baby, they took the crumble. I mean, I guess that's just how the syllabary crumbles. Hey! <laughs> We must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. Who are these outsiders? Oh, these folks? They're, um... They're from, uh... They're my cousins. C cousins? Mmm... <laughs> Your cousins, eh? Oh yeah, my cousins. They're totally cool. I've known them my whole life. Hmm. Well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. But you'd better keep an eye on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. Peace out, Rupert Scout. How'd he fit through the door? Whew, that was close. My name's Sugar Baby. Well, my real name's actually Ethan. 
but everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the Great Sea before. Wow. <laughs> okay. You both look so cool. I mean, look at those arms. How are your arms not getting tired? Your arms have five little arms growing out of the end of your arms. Never felt more self-conscious about my fingers. Anyways. <laughs> and you have brown grass growing out of the top of your head. Brown grass? So cool! So, what brings you guys to Monster Buds? We were hoping he might try some of this special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Ooh, the monster loves new teas. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh, wait. Hmm. Boogies. Are you okay? Normally, this would be easy, but there's a slight problem. As you could probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing the food from the kitchen. And until we figure out who the thief is, Rupert, he's my boss, is not going to let anyone near the monster. Sorry, guys. This is quite the predicament. Unless... Maybe you guys could help us find the thief. We're short-staffed today, so I bet I could get you guys a job here. It's that easy to get a job in this world? Can I move to this world? <laughs> you mean we get work here? Or we get to work here? In this big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea and you deliver it. Plus, you get to eat a ton of free food. Strawberry cake, sandwiches, syllabary jam, you name it. That sounds great! I bet since you're new, the buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you could get all sorts of information that way. I have a feeling we may be getting all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure Monsieur would drink your tea. What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I could get you that job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid man? Are you, are you the Kool-Aid man's child, maybe? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, you have to put a crap ton of sugar inside Kool-Aid anyway, so maybe they've been hanging out with Kool-Aid man? I don't know. I'm just trying to logic out my reasoning. Okie dokie, come with me. The first thing we gotta ask Rupert is if he'll hire you. Oh, Rupert. I just like to think that their voice changes whenever they're around Rupert to better suit what they like, I don't know, what Rupert wants so they can get what they want out of Rupert. Hey, Rupert! This had to be better important, or this had better be important. It is! I have great news! You found the crumble thief? Not quite, but it's still good! You know how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Ugh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short-staffed. Well, worry not, Rupert. My cousins can take their place. Hmm, your cousins. I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience in waiting tables? Or with tea? I do. I have a lot of experience with tea. Because I am like a 70-year-old woman in a 23-year-old's body, and I love tea. <laughs> do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why, where'd they come from? They are practically famous for serving tea? Ugh. So, what do you know about tea? There's oolong, jade, earl grey, green tea, black tea, uh, uh, of course now I'm blinking. Anyways, 
Well, now that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about? Are you serving ceremonial grad matcha or just premium? Do I smell a blend of silver tips and dried syllabaries? See, she's one-upping me, so now I feel awkward. I can certainly hope you're keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180. Hmm, I'd suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that Assam you have. And good choice with the puree. Puri. It'll help balance the heaviness of these desserts. <laughs> hmm, quite. Let me just take out my random cup of tea. Fine. Okay, they can work here. Yay! But if anything goes wrong, I'm holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The, s the smaller one can work as tea server. Take him and show him the ropes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mom, help, please. And since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I'll have Alfred show her how to assemble the special tea leaf blends. Alfred? Uh, yes, sir. We have a new tea specialist to fill in for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and see to it that she knows where all of the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, sir. I'd like to think that's a fake mustache. <laughs> right this way, ma'am. You can do it, Mom. Thanks, dear. Have fun out there. You too. I need that kind of emotional support in my life because I would be panicking at this moment. <laughs> well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniform on and serve that tea. Guests are waiting. Yes, sir. The apple's just like, I'm here. You know, for, for scenic purposes. My room's just up ahead. I'm so excited that you get to work here. It's gonna be so much fun. You can wear Lester's uniform. It's over there on the bed. The red bow tie is the best part. When I grow a little bit bigger, I'll get to wear a red bow tie too. Anyways, go ahead and get changed. She's like, yeah, I don't care. I'll meet you back in the servants' quarters. That's the room where Rupert is? And free desserts? <laughs> See you soon, my new buddy. Okay, peace out. Thanks for playing Leapfrog with me for all of 0.2 seconds. Change into the uniform? Why, yes. Aw, sweet baby. He looks so adorable. Don't mind me. I guess I'm not gonna pillage through your stuff. Nope, we're going straight out. Okay. It's muscle reflex, okay? In this game, you have to, you have to look around. Okay. Ooh. You look sharp. Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You just go around the party and ask the guests if they want tea. If they do want tea, try to find out which kind they'd like. Then come back to this room, grab the tea for them. If they like you, I bet you'll they'll tell you stuff that'll help us find the food thief. Okay, over here are the different kinds of tea. Pour some into your cup and bring it to them. Easy, right? But remember, you can only carry one cup of tea at a time. And if you bring a guest the wrong tea, you'll have to come back and try again. Got it? I think so. Why don't you practice on Rupert? Bring him a cup of his favorite tea. The Syllabary Special. Oh, and one more thing. See this sink up here? Yep. If you accidentally get in the or if you accidentally get the wrong tea and you're still here, you can just pour out this pour it out in the sink. 
Got it. Okay, go bring Rupert that syllabary special tea. Well, which one is the syllabary special tea? That one. A rare white tea mixed with fragrant dried syllabaries. Pour a cup of the syllabary special? Yes. You are now carrying a cup of the syllabary special. Here you go. What now? This better be important. Serve Rupert the tea? Yeah, why not? We'll try to get on his good side. Is this the syllabary special you've brought me? <laughs> Delicious. Yay, you did it! Now if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to some important business. Sugar baby. Fuji. Oh, because it's a Fuji apple. <laughs> I'm heading to the party rooms. I'll be there if you need me. Good luck and stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. Peace out, Rupert Scout. Okay. You're all ready. The party is being held in the rooms to your left. Now get out there and serve some tea. Cool. I think we're actually going to do that in the next episode because I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Because between all the jump cuts I had to do and all the wandering around I did, I'm not quite sure how long the episode has been, but this feels like a good pausing point. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, and in the next episode we'll serve some tea and get some good tips. So of course I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!